it's a monumental point in tracks and YC history today. Back in New York, it's a madhouse. Yeah, the bigger the stall, no mistakes either. It's more money. No mistakes. Me, me, me. Let me take, take, take. You, fuck you, fuck you. The end of the holiday season is a battle zone, war zone. Now you're telling me five something. What's up with you? No, because years of war over there going on. Duck and run. We hooked them up with the full roster of chains right here, bro. The mushrooms, I guess. Out in the desert? I don't know. Okay, it's not gonna be for everybody, but it is gonna be for somebody. It's not baller. Man. This isn't a Richard meal. A 19 millimeter, 18 inch white gold, 14 carat, 454 grams. A lot of people that don't know me think I am a rapper. You got a bar of silver, you got uh, some cash, and you got a pair of diamond earrings. At least 3 billion ran through his hands. I don't watch UFC that much because I don't like to see people bash each other in the head. As I saw that fist come out, I got a little scared. We need to make them something amazing, multicolor, like a dream. Have you ever had a dream before? Yep. That's what the jewelry business is all about, sourcing materials, production. There's so many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. I want to be entertained because you know what? We have a real business over here. We're real people. A diverse group of people. Uh, you know, I stand out. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. O'Malley. We got to put him up on the big board here. Oh, he's up there. He's wearing a, a sapphire chain of ours. Two of them in that photo. You know what I'm saying? He's a big, uh, big client. We need to make him something amazing, multicolor, like a dream. Have you ever had a dream before? Yes, I have a dream of your those orange sapphire chains. You have a dream I of, love a, that. of the money falling from the sky? <laughs> yes. Well, the only, the only chance of me and you having money falling from the sky is if we work with him. Who is that guy? He's a major fighter. Who are you? Is the question. <laughs> Who is that guy, he says, the nerve. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, we figure it out. But um, the everyday products with also little bracelets, that's going to be a good one. something different? Show me, show me. Purple. That looks, like, that looks like pink to me, brother. It's pink. No, but it's, it's purplish pink. Purplish pink. It's called, but very different shape. That's a, uh, yeah, it's an interesting. Square, uh, square cushion. Wow. That's very That's interesting, cool, very interesting. But uh, that would be an interesting cross. We could make a little cross out of this, Mika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw it, beautiful. That, that would be a nice little cross to make. We don't want to make too many products, man. Yeah. It would make our lives more difficult. Now we got to get red stones. Now we got to get pink stones. Now we got to get cushion cuts. Now we got to get this. Now we got to get... We could also have limited collections and like that, but we're not at that stage yet. We're on the chicken wing stage. Yeah, so last week we went to see Sean O'Malley. You in the mix? Yeah, that's the up. <laughs> Paved streets and just open space. Something you don't see in New York. It's so pleasant. It really is. It's a madhouse. Yeah, the bigger the stall, no mistakes either. It's more money. No mistakes. The end of the holiday season, it's a fucking battle zone, war zone. Add more, more flavor. Now you're telling me five something. For the high bowler. What's up with you? No, because... Gears of war over there going on over there. Duck and run, but I need a fucking break. I need to get out of this situation already, man. Sean O'Malley can fucking help me. VS2, if you want, yeah, if you want VS1, then Hold on, I'm confused because you told me I should have carrot, and now you're telling me something a carrot. What's up with you? No, because because of the sizes, it jumps. After 2.7 and up, it jumps, the price. Yeah, the bigger the stone. It's more money. It jumps. So when the, the ten pointers is, is more money. More money. Twenty pointers. Twenty five. Yeah. It jumps. Yeah. So five pointers. We has to like. Um, 50. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Everything good? I gotta give some love when I see my brothers right here. Okay, I'll see yeah, you later. Honey. The first mission, we don't even need to know what's going on, what we're getting. The first mission at hand, don't pay too much. Don't pay too much, that's the first mission. And get what you actually need. Don't get something else. You come back with something else, you just burnt an hour. No, mis no mistakes either. No mistakes. Not with Straight. Bebe. We're not trying to waste any time right here. Time is money. And you don't even know, you don't even know how many, you know how many, hear, hear this. The amount and value of stones that's gone through Bebe's hands, probably few billion. Billion? Few. More, not, more than one, okay? In the history, how many years have you been doing this? 20 years. 20, oh, only 20, okay. In, in February, February will be 20 years. My estimation, conservative amount, at least three billion ran through his hands. <laughs> dinero, dinero. Si? Era cobrado. Ah. <laughs> Tesla. Again, I, I, I assume or I guess the own the, the the guy that ordered this has a Tesla, or maybe a more a few of them. Maybe he has a collection. So what's next is the the letters, but they are um, baguettes and they channel set. So Renato don't deal with channel set, so I have to do the channel setting outside. A five guys mystery here. How are the burgers in the five guys in Arizona versus the five guys in New York? Because the five guys in New York have went. I wish I had three hands so I could give them three thumbs down. We gotta bury a treasure, you know what I'm saying? I should have brought more treasure out. I do too much shit. I'm burying treasure, I'm making chains, I'm doing this, I'm beefing, I'm boring. I mean, how much more of this? can I do so this is a grain uh, 10,000 grains of silver where the f I'm gonna uh, how we got this all the way to Arizona don't ask I don't think they were too happy to see this at the airport and then we got a pair of earrings we're gonna throw in there as well right yep somebody needs a miracle somebody needs a gift and we're gonna make that happen but we're in the desert and you have to figure out where it is. And if you could, you could just come and, uh, you know, grab it. Good luck. Well, we have a last minute Christmas miracle treasure. Come on over guys. Let me show you where it is and what, uh, how to get it. Okay, it's not gonna be for everybody, but it is gonna be for somebody. Got a bar of silver, you got uh, some cash, and you got a pair of diamond earrings, right? And they're all worth roughly about the same. Maybe the silver is even a little more, I don't know. Right? I didn't uh, bring my calculator with me. I just brought these treasures to bury and of course my phone number to text me when you find it. And I'll give you some clues on how to find it right now. This is just a small sampling of the men's rings available on tracksyc.com that we manufacture right here in the Diamond District in New York City, right? That's why we don't have any shortages or anything like that. We're manufacturing ourselves. We're taking the gold, the diamonds, the silver, the sapphires, and even the opals like this ring right here and putting it all together with hand craftsmanship for jewelry and making it available with cryptos, with financing, with layaway, with live chat, with being able to come down to 64 West 47th Street with anything you can imagine, we're making that happen right here in the Diamond District on 47th Street. So the hint is the background itself. It's a beautiful landscape. And if you recognize it, you'll be able to uh, uh, get out here. And one a distinct feature on the landscape is of course that cactus over there. It looks like it's giving you the middle finger. That's what it feels like to me at least. Very easy to spot. So if you've seen it before perhaps and thought the same thing, you might know where it is. There's also a green bottle of 40 ounce on the way over here. Um, no label on it. 
It's been here in the sun for I don't know how long, but it, uh, you know, uh, it's there. So if you see it, you're on the right track. You saw the rock formation. I just pulled over somewhere, walked a couple of steps, and that's it. I don't want anybody driving around in the middle of the night going uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But the fact of the matter is, is that this is the landscape. That's the middle finger. The treasure is over there. And it's got a pair of diamond earrings and a uh, bar of sterling silver. And remember guys, you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of others. Otherwise, uh, stay at home. Treasure is right here guys, right under these three rocks. All the colors that you requested, right? Dude. This is what you needed, this is what you wanted. And we did it for our boy. We just wrapped up the Twitch stream, man. What drew you to the colors, bro? Well, dude, initially I saw you guys on Instagram. Saw the, the, this one. Right. Some, something similar to this one. Hit you guys up because I had a big fight coming up and I was like, I need that for the press conference. You guys hit me up, hit me back up real quick. And, uh, well, we should have stepped up. Well, now we're, we're, we learned our lesson. You know what I'm saying? Dude. We should have, we should have. But now, you know, one fight at a time, one chain at a time. We make this shit happen. We got the red right here. That's my favorite. So you did five chains at a time. <laughs> yeah, red and blue. You know what I'm saying? No, these are fucking... Dude, these are insane, man. I, I appreciate gold, it. gold, right? That's uh, that's the color gold you're rocking with. Of course. You got a timepiece that's fantastic as well. And that bracelet is rocking, match it over. We got the, you hooked up the girls too, of course, my yeah, daughter. You can't, my you can't leave the kids out, you know, all Look the holidays. Those. So we're, we're out here visiting our mans and we did our thing for the full collection of these chains. We're so proud to have you as a client. We couldn't be a better client, couldn't be a better fucking champ to fucking work with, bro. And the future you, is super bright, bro. So keep hustling. This chain right here matches the cast. The cast is coming just off. Just got that today, baby. Just yeah. got that today. Th the, three weeks. Not too long. Shouldn't yeah. be too long. The chain is staying on. I oh, appreciate yeah, you, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, just uh, dropped off the chains with Sean. Fantastic dude. But, you know, when you're doing business with people and uh, you're meeting them for the first time, it's always like a smart person, which is what this guy is. He's doing this. He's doing that. They're not here to be like, hey, what do you want from me, right? If somebody comes to me, I'm, I'm open-hearted, but it's really what it is. We're coming and we're doing business. We did a fantastic thing. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But I think we left a good impression. And it is what it is. This is, it's not uh, so much as friendship as it is work. Where he is a serious client. We're here to make sure that we have faith in him. He is a uh, uh, you know, a, a serious fighter, bro. And, and this is what it is. We came out here to f***ing deliver, we did. And like everybody else I do business with, over time, we're gonna become good friends, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a big fuck you. It's called Sugar Squad, baby! Boing, bing, bong! Oh, winner, winner! Thank you. Somebody found that treasure out there in the rain in Arizona. What are the chances? And um, don't look for it anymore. I'm gonna ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe because we're gonna be giving out gems on this program and we want you to catch them. And they might be physical gems or they might be mental gems, but they're gonna enrich you one way or another. To be honest with you, if it doesn't fit, I could always remake you one, you know? Yeah. I'll remake you one. And what other one you got this size? Yeah, you guys saw we were looking at the Sapphire collection, the bracelets, the chain, my guy. You want to just come through and get something a little different. We got two big boy Miami Cubans. And we had to do that. It's a great investment. Right now, gold is at a certain price. Max himself thinks he's going to be headed towards the roof. So customers making a good choice, stocking up on the gold.
So we got a, a 19 millimeter, 18 inch white gold, 14 carat, 454 grams, Miami Cuban, handmade. Now, fully custom lock with the Trax NYC logo on there. This was just, this just came out of the factory, just now, just completed. Everything sits flush. Mind you, everything on this chain was all handmade, even the lock. Besides like the sun designing it and stuff, but everything else was all handmade. Mind you, also another thing, you see how the chain is just sitting like that? That's how you, that's how you know it's, you see how it's, everything's even, even on the side. That's how a proper chain should sit. You don't want your chain like, you know, twisting like that or be sitting like this. That means it wasn't, like the guy making it didn't twist it enough. See this one, this one just sets, sits like this straight. It's not moving, it's nothing. And no, what we got going on? We got a wonderful, beautifully pave self-made three inch pendant. The Tesla bell is something. The work on this is something the baguettes really just look beautiful. Sides are done. This right here is just crazy. Diamond work alone took a long time. This isn't prongs. You see how these are prongs right here? Every one of these diamonds inside are in around. Those are pave. So they have to actually drill the hole and then set the stone. Costs a lot to do that. It's a different type of setting. That's like 60, 70K on the neck. I'm saying 70,000. This chain's going for around 40. Pending 30. The setup's crazy for real. We're applying pressure all 2022. It's a whole different type of vibe we're coming on. Times 250, you're talking about a $6,500 difference between these carrots and these carrots. Get your numbers together and come see me with Thomas so I can look over the numbers. I need to know exactly how much per carrot you're doing because if you're saying between to a that right, that's 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 it doesn't sound like much, but it's a difference of almost seven thousand dollars. That's going to cut into your profits and completely murder this transaction. So uh, I calculated and quoted him for the. Yes. Okay. First service like top top is right here. Tommy, yes. we calculated for a carrot, right? Uh, cost, sell. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, around carrot. Cost or sell? Cost. Cost. Okay. Yeah. And then what are we, what are we selling for? Cost should come around for anywhere from thousand maybe like two hundred maybe. Your cost. Like, I think it was half things like three thousand. No, twenty twenty five thousand six hundred. Exactly, and then labor, let's say at most, right? Okay. I forget, most 30,000. These are 25 pointers? 20 pointers. 20 pointers, okay. So here's what you want to do. Contact Jim right now okay. and, and, and double check the price. Tell him exactly what you need. He's just going to double check the price on RapNet just to okay. see if we're good. That sounds like we're good. Okay. Sounds like we'll be profitable and we'll, we'll be good with this. But yeah, de definitely double check, okay? Okay. So yeah. contact Jen and tell them exactly. 20 pointers. Okay. Got yeah, it. that's not that hard, bro. That'll be a simple one. They probably have the castings ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get that back to the store. Okay. Double check with Jen how much the 20 pointer VS will cost. Yeah. Just, just to double check. I'm curious. And let me know too, please, because I need to know this. All right. Thank you. All right. It's not expensive enough. It's not baller enough for today's society. This isn't a Richard meal. This is a fruit bowl. I like that family pot right there. Yeah. Something in the house to decorate. You know? And you know, we could carry it and it would be a nice gift. Yeah. To bring through the door. Give it a hug. I think this might be it. We could get one of these rabbits and we're gonna say, you gotta look for the rabbit. 
follow the rabbit. It's twenty-eight dollars. Yeah, get the rabbit. All right. Deserves success. That's what. That's the way I could describe Sean O'Malley. He deserves success. You know what I'm saying? What impressed me about this guy, what I was thankful for, is he saw our jewelry and he bought it. He didn't ask for anything. He didn't do this. And then he became a customer of ours. You know what I'm saying? And the guy likes colors and things like that. Meeting him, you know, you realize, listen, you see a UFC fighter, but this is a, a, a regular dude. You know, in, in, in so many ways. Invited us in to do the Twitch. What's up, Twitchsters? You guys f*** with Twitch much? You guys not uh, too familiar? I'm not, I'm not up on the Twitch yet, man. I mean, you know, I know it's popping off. How are the yeah. NFTs doing, man? Yeah, they're, they're doing. But yeah, tell, tell them where you guys are from. Well, we're from New York, man. And you know what I'm saying? We're honored to be here. You know, this guy honored us with doing business with us. And we had to honor him right back. You so know? you guys flew in today? Yeah, uh, wow. Dude. Look at that, look at that. These, you know, the red states are looking fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're going to start over with the red states. Ooh, show. I told him. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you the... So this is chain number one, my favorite. Red Ooh. sapphires. Fuck. You know, that's that. that. Dude, that is so f***ing yeah, clean. Yeah, you got the whole setup over here, so you already know oh, the mix. Oh, yeah, you already know. Right. I'm a blood now, they said. Now we got the <laughs> yellow chain right here. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a one issue with these last three chains. You're gonna have to fight me for them. Too. Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> pretty deadly with a cat. I feel yeah, like that's I'm more of a sure, I'm pretty sure. I Ooh, yeah, this this nice. one matches oh, you. You know, you look perfect. Yeah. The cast. Dude. This matches the cast. You know what I'm saying? Classic blue sapphire. And Mickey, you know, he got Dude. you with the right stones, Ooh. bro. Look at this shit. Okay. All right, this one's in the rose gold. There you go. Switching now you look more like the champ Dude, that you are, my holy brother. Shit, you know what I'm boys. saying? You can let the chain sit however Ooh, you want. Look at that, Twitch fan. Then we went and he took us out to a little dinner. We sat down, we ate with his wife and his kid. What's up, champ? Here in Arizona, we made the move for our boy, Sean O'Malley. And uh, we hooked him up with the full roster of chains right here, bro. Hey, right. I appreciate you flying out and dropping these on me, dude. That, uh, fucking these colors are insane. The multicolored, the single colors. What's the next move for, for the ice game? I mean, I know you're, you know, you're a fighter. You're not a, a rapper, but what's the next move? Man? No, no, no. I, I get I, a lot of people that don't know me think I am a rapper. It's funny. Um, next move would be book a fight and then kind of go with the flow there. Whatever you guys need, you got you, bro. It's, it's a fantastic uh, adventure so far. Bro. Thank you, brother. Good luck on the next fight. Hopefully, me and Mickey over here are going to be invited. You guys got to see Thank you. Yes, sir. Please, just drop it to my yeah. store. Give them the bill, they're gonna pay you. I Thank you. Let's close everything up, yeah, finish yeah. your phone calls. In two, three minutes, we're gonna have this meeting. It's only gonna take a couple minutes. Close it up. Okay, I definitely do not wanna be having this meeting today. I don't wanna have to tell you guys what you already know. Unfortunately, I have to do this meeting, right? So, first and foremost, all the people who are working in the store, I'm not going to name the names, but you guys are all under a big magnifying glass. Why? A couple different reasons, right? First and foremost, we want to make sure that we're making the appropriate profit on every sale. If you're selling a, a charm that doesn't sell, we've never sold it. We have one in stock and you want to get rid of it for a small profit, that's cool. But if you're selling a Miami Cuban Link ring that we have order stacked up for and all of a sudden you want to make $200 on a ring no not gonna happen right so to start with everything the first thing is is cost price a lot of salespeople in the store and in the mezzanine tend to confuse their cost price 
it could be due to a few different aspects of the business, but in reality, it's going to be your job. Your job to make sure that the piece you're making, the cost price is correct. Because if it's not, and you put a bullshit profit, thinking we're going to make $1,000, and then that fucking order comes back to me, and I realize, hey, we're not making $1,000, we're making 500 bucks. It's your responsibility to talk to Ivan or Mateo or Jordana or Mika or whoever else is upstairs and to make sure you get the correct cost price. We let you guys slide for a while, putting in whatever cost price you think, whatever it is. That's cool. It happened. The game stops here. A lot of games stop today, right? It's a monumental point in Trax NYC history today. Why? Because there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes you guys have no idea about. You guys are on your own little world. You have your customers. You're doing your customs. You're doing your printing. You're doing your sales. Whatever it is, you don't have to worry about shit that is ridiculous. Things that will take your fucking brain and flip it around upside down and make you wonder what are you doing in your life. Thankfully, most of you don't have to deal with that. I have to. Maksud has to. Right? So, cost prices. Moving on from today forward. Every cost price that you guys do that's not a factory item better be in the notes. If it's not, you will be penalized. If you do not, do not understand your penalty, you will lose your job. It's very simple. We have to cut the fat you know, we have to make sure that everyone who's working with us has the best intentions of the business. Not for themselves, not for some crazy cockamamie idea, but for the business, right? You want to sell something small margin? You want to move some weight? You want to do this? You want to do that? Call me. Don't make, don't make Angela call me. Don't make Thomas call me. Call me your fucking self. Have the balls to call me and say, hey, I got a piece, it costs 19, I got a customer for 20, ta -ta 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 -ta. I'll respect you for it. Don't, don't make Angela do the work for you. If you fucking make a sale and then the customer comes back with a return or with this, with that, don't put it on Angela. Don't put it on my managers. Call me directly. Let's uh, see what we got. Taking for a try. Yes. Oh, Where's the Right here. The warmest wishes of the city from Alpha Team. It's a casting house. Nice. Thank you, Alpha. <laughs> she wrote it out. Olive. This is olive oil. Olive. Black olive. 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 First and foremost, everyone who's going to be selling for us starting a new year, you're going to have to take a GIA course. So that when a customer comes here and they ask you a question, you better know what the f you're doing, okay? So if Kenneth takes a GA course and it costs $300 and he's exceeding and killing every number of the month, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pay for that f***ing course. And guess what Kenneth's going to have? A GA certificate for free, right? So Rolex course. I'm going to put you guys all on a Rolex course mandatory. You better know what a f***ing 31 is. You better know what a 36 and a 41 and so on and so forth and what it does. Right? I identification and credit card. We built a crazy training system in this and that. But in reality, what I realize is one thing. Either you have it or you do not. I don't want a fucking sucker to come here and then I have to teach him something. No. I've had enough experience to know when the, the correct person comes here, they know what to do. I don't have to explain it to them. It's common sense make sure your cost prices are correct make sure you got the ID and the credit card make sure that if there's a shady fucking customer you let me know about it I don't want to know about it a week later after you left and all oh, he was suspicious and he didn't look no I want to know about today if I'm not here you fucking call me okay so 
here's the thing we're very transparent with our prices everything in here has a tag on it so when you take it out you're gonna see the quality of the diamonds the gold how much it costs we don't play the game where it's this and that you know we're really transparent um, we've been in the business 18 years everything comes with an appraisal and a warranty you can get it insured and we stand behind our product and we give you like a 14-day return policy so if you get a piece for her you give it to her she doesn't like it we switch it up for you we give you your money back and it's not a big that's not a big deal what do you uh do you see anything you like it's just anything that catches your eye just so you can kind of get an idea of the prices nice cross let's see all right one of these crosses this is a really good white or yellow gold because uh, yellow gold this is beautiful you can see the diamonds are really clean they have a nice shine to them and it, pop it out, pop it out, watch. So look, this is a set. As it is, it's 1925, comes with the chain. Something like this, I'll do for you for 1500 as an as a intro price since you're a first time customer. 1500 bucks, look at the diamonds, look at the cross. I mean, the chain, you, you really can't go wrong. VS? Yeah, tag says VS diamonds, that's what it is. Oh, where are you trying to be? This is just looking? Yeah, yeah, Do you see anything else that catches your eye? You're all desensitized to the dollar. And you think, okay, uh, I'll rewind back. We had a custom uh, $8,000, whatever it is. Josh said, yeah, no problem. In reality, if you guys, if any of you were forced to take $500, $1,000, $1,500 or $3,000 out of your paycheck in order to finish a piece, to then wait for the customer to come and pay it, I guarantee you, 99% of you would not do that. So you must treat the business with the same respect, okay? Now I definitely got something to show you, man. So this piece just came out today. It's uh, right in the middle of the Lebanon flag. They got the cedar tree on it. So my boy Anthony is from Lebanon. The beautiful piece. This is about 90 grams, solid 14 karat gold, five millimeters on the piece. Matched with the eight millimeter Miami Cuban, 127 grams. Amazing piece. We got all VS stones, big pointers. Came out amazing. Uh, this piece is a long time in the making, and probably about a month it took. But uh, the customer were going back and forth on the design, trying to figure out what chain he wanted. So first we were at seven millimeters, he thought it wasn't big enough, so we went up to eight. But uh, you know, you know, things take time. Got to make sure the customer's happy, gets what he wants, and at the end of the day, made an amazing piece, made it happen. How would you like to find a pearl? A pearl? A pearl. Oh, I mean, I would like it. It's right over there on the floor. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what a coincidence, right? Do you remember my so, old pearl necklace? Yeah, unfortunately. Maybe well, somehow you found me. a pearl. There was a pearl on the floor. Yeah. Coincidence. New necklace soon. Yeah, yeah, so keep that. We'll turn it over for memories, you know? Yeah. Got a pearl sitting right under feet. That was weird. Saying, and I gotta be honest, I don't watch UFC that much because I don't like to see people bash each other in the head. But, um, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be watching Sean and the way he's rocking our chains and he did all of our sapphire operation. He bought um, um, chains for his uh, wife, his little girl, himself. Then a bracelet, and then we hooked them up, you know, with a with a whole collection of sapphire chains that are multicolor that he's rocking on, on, on a serious level. So. This delicious, bro. I'm satisfied out the ass. It's beautiful out here. I'll tell you that much. Phoenix, Arizona, you've been fantastic to us. You're in an amazing state. I'm gonna be back here and I'm glad you're here so I could, every time I'm here, I come visit you. Sean O'Malley. There's gotta be other friends I have in Phoenix. Appreciate you guys. I'll be back. UFC fighters, rappers, athletes. You know, if we could service the transactions and I, and I could build a business, 
They're going to be happy to do business with us and we're going to have a fantastic brand. That's really what this show is about. You're going to see if I could pull this business off or not. And you're going to see how I do it if I do. I hide nothing. And none to hide. I don't need to hide anything. I know how to use the truth as a weapon. I don't need to use a lie. <laughs>